Hello, my name is Muhammad Ibn Kurniawan, my matric number 1994888. Hi, my name is Bashir, uh, my, my matric number is 1995233. Hi, I am Najwa, my matric number is 1992777. So hi, my name is Cik Mashita Khairia and my matrix number is 199184. So today we are from group 6 who would like to demonstrate about the gravity dam. So what is gravity dam actually? Gravity dam is a barrier that's constructed to hold back water and forming a reservoir. It's usually been built across the river and it's been constructed from the concrete or stone masonry. So the uses of weak materials is to resist the horizontal pressure of water pushing against it. So now I would like to invite Bashir to introduce more uh, and explain more about the forces that act at the gravity dam. So yeah Bashir. Thank you Mashita and we'll talk about uh, all the force uh, acting uh, on the gravity dam. First, uh, the first force uh, acting on the gravity dam is the weight of the dam, which acts uh, downward. Uh, and there is another force which opposes, uh, which is the normal force, and it opposes uh, the weight of the gravity dam. So, uh, and it acts uh, upward. Uh, the other force uh, which acts on the dam is uh, the water pressure. It acts horizontally on the dam. So, uh, if the pressure, uh, if the water pressure acts on the dam horizontally, it tries to make uh, the dam to move, but uh, there's a friction force. There's a, for, a friction force uh, which makes uh, the the dam uh, stable. Uh, the type of the friction uh, in this case is uh, dry friction, which is uh, which is uh, between uh, two surfaces two surface in contact. Uh, the friction is uh, the between the two surfaces, which is uh, the dam and uh, the foundation or the soil. Uh, so uh, the fr when the water pressure acts uh, on the dam, it tries uh, to move, but uh, the friction force uh, opposes uh, the against uh, the water pressure, and uh, it makes uh, the dam uh, to be in a stable state. So uh, let me show you how the force acting on the dam. So the water uh, will act. Horizontally uh, to here, and uh, then uh, the friction force uh, opposes uh, the, against the, the, water, the, the pressure of the water, so it makes uh, the dam uh, to be in a stable condition. So I will invite now uh, Najwa to give us uh, some advantages of uh, the gravity dam. Uh, uh, I will talk about advantage of gravity dam. There are a lot of advantage um, in gravity dam between the earth dam. First, the gravity dam will not tend to slip if it in steep valley. Um, and second, the cost maintenance of gravity dam is le least benefit uh, than the earth dam. Uh, after that, gravity dam also give you a sign if it tend to fail. Rather than the earth dam, it will fail suddenly. Uh, and, 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 and it will make uh, you can save many lives and property so uh, the disadvantage of the gravity dam is uh, the initial cost of construction is very high and uh, they are require a strong and ve very strong and sound foundation uh, and when the dam once constructed it cannot be raised anymore so that's all from me so Iqbal for the conclusion in in conclusion uh, friction is very important for our daily life uh, like before our class there's very many advantage friction in daily life and in the application of life uh, friction in the one of the application is gravity dam because friction help us to make the gravity dam stable, to make the water not to pass the dam. I think I think that is all from us. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye.